Welcome to Rick's Corner. You know I've been bringing up a lot of videos of the 50s of the bodybuilders of the past and boy I found so much stuff out there and it's so interesting to me to look back and see who was who back in the day. And I just located some stuff on Jack LaLanne and for you younger guys that don't know who Jack LaLanne was, he was the epitome of fitness and bodybuilding. He was born in I believe uh, 1914 and he started this fitness thing back in the 30s with people in their homes training them to be uh, uh, patients that were sick and women who wanted to get into shape and had a TV show called the Jack Lane Show back in the 50s, late 40s and 50s, where he came on TV and you'll see this here, I'll show you a clip with just a chair and his little jumpsuit which he was famous for and he gave them exercises to work out at home so they'd watch their TV and they'd work out with them, kind of like Jane Fonda did. But he had an arsenal of fans, they were everywhere, it's the Jack Lane Show. Worldwide known, he made appearances. He swam the, the Golden Gate Channel handcuff, pulling a bunch of tugboats as a feat of strength. And he did really odd things like this. He was a very short man. I think his height was like, oh, five foot six, if that even. Uh, very well built. He was one of the first bodybuilders. Excuse me, he was one of the first bodybuilders. And he, um, his fitness was huge. He wanted to help people that were sick and get into the homes and make them better by fitness and nutrition. Started his own nutrition company. He was one of the first guys to invent the leg extension machine and cables, if you can imagine that. I met him on a couple of occasions at gym openings. I didn't realize he was from Bakersfield, my hometown even. Uh, he died at the age of 96, I think in 2000, I had done it somewhere, 2011 from heart failure. He was arrested, I think, in, at the age of 92 for a DUI, which he deserves the right to drink. It was really kind of funny. And when he was at Joe Gold's uh, memorial, he had said, my wife's out here with me, we've been married. He said, let me think back, like 102 years, <laughs> which probably seemed like it. But he had a great spirit. He was very, very energetic. He was nice to everybody. He took the time to talk to everybody. And so he was on the Groucho show, like I showed you before with Reg Lewis and some of the other guys, because Groucho Marx was the, the, the show that came into your home every night. Groucho Marx, of course, was a comedian. The Marx Brothers were very funny. They had movies years ago. And they had a game show, which for $100, you say the secret word, but it was all in fun. It was basically a show to bring people on who were interesting and maybe celebrities who wanted to get more exposure in the business. And so Jack came on there and talking about his nutrition company. And of course, Groucho knew who he was ahead of time, but he has to play along with it and say, well, what is it you do? And, and he says, you're in the wives' homes every morning. And he says, I'd like to get in the wives' homes every morning. So it was more of a, a fun comedy thing than it was a serious game show. Um, but I have the footage, I'm going to run it for you, I run his show that he did his workouts with and he was just a treasure. He uh, went against Arnold for some sort of a strength feat when Arnold was 21 and he beat him. And Arnold never forgot it, he said, uh, Jack is an amazing man, we became a governor. He gave to Jack like a Hall of Fame award, just said this guy's the most amazing phys physical fitness specimen ever. So he has quite a legendary history and a lot of respect and uh, it's sad to see an icon like that not around anymore but you know we all go at some point. And, our life, but he did live to the good old age of 96. And you know, he lived right and he lived clean like we all do and we all try to do the best. But your heart's a muscle, and you wear it and you work it and you work it and your body works and your body works. Eventually things just wear out. There's nothing we can do about it. Maybe in the future they will, but it's not because of any sort of uh, living that he did that was dangerous or you know, off the cuff and drugs and all that kind of stuff. He just wore out. Of course he was very physical, so he probably led the lives of three. Anyway, watch the video. I think you'll like it. It's a lot of fun. And watch the whole game show that he's on. It's, it's Groucho Marx is extremely funny. And now, here is the man who will show you how to feel better, look better, Jack LaLanne. Oh, here's a movement you're going to like. Let's do it sitting down, huh? I hope you have a chair handy. Remember, just a kitchen chair or a dining room chair. Anything will be fine. Now, come in here. Don't be... So, how come you're so far away? Come on over here. Let's get acquainted. That's it. He's like, you know, yesterday I was just a little nervous with you, you know, coming into your home for the first time, and today I feel real at ease with you. We're sure getting to be friends real quick, aren't we? Thanks again for letting me come into your home. All right. Pretend now that we are rowing a boat. You have a good imagination. Use it. Do you remember maybe one time in your life, maybe that on a vacation you're out in the lake rowing a boat, or you're in a river somewhere, or maybe out in the ocean? Huh? You remember how you row a boat? Well, this is a fine exercise. Now, ready, begin. One, two, three, four. Sing along with me, come on. Dee dee, merrily, merrily, down, and one, two, three. A little higher, keep your legs straight. And two, and three, four, and rest. One, two, three. That's it. All right, now this time I want you to straighten up in your chair as much as you can. Arch your back, head up, pull your tummy way in. Come on, pull it in, pull it in. That's it. Come on, now pull it way in this time. Come on, in, in. That's the way. Come on, I once more. See, I want you to learn to control this old tummy here because this is the 
That's our bicycle gymnastic. Come on now. Good. Dee 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 da 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 dee 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 dee. And rest. One, two, three. Very good. Take a deep breath. Inhale through your nose. Oh, now. Shh. More. What this dedicated man is doing for your health and figure, then tell a friend about the Jack LaLanne Show, this channel daily. And here he is, the one and only Fenneman. <laughs> George, I'd like to have you talk to Evelyn Beebe and Jack LaLanne. Would you come in, please, and meet George Fenneman? <laughs> I will. How do you do? Mr. Fenneman. How do you do, Beebe? How do you do? I'd like you to meet another friend of mine. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> well, uh, bring the girl down. Uh, <laughs> The girl is coming down, I'm coming back. I knew that would get you. <laughs> Welcome to the Late Late Show. Except in the Middle West. And say the secret word and divide an extra $100,000. I mean an extra $100. It's a common word, you, it's something you see every day. You give up? <laughs> Evelyn uh, Beebe and Jack LaLanne, huh? That's your Evelyn over there. Yes, sir. Evelyn, where are you from? How old are you and are you married? I'm from Libertyville, Illinois. I'm 20 years old and I'm single. Well, you've got lots of time to get married. It's one thing you never want to rush into. No. When you meet a man you like, think it over very carefully. Take all day if necessary. <laughs> you're Jack LaLanne? I'm Jack LaLanne, Groucho. It doesn't seem possible. <laughs> Particularly since I've never met him. <laughs> Where are you from, Jack? I was born and raised in San Francisco. Oh. Uh, were you there during the earthquake? I'm not that old, Groucho. They had one last week. <laughs> Are you married? No, I'm not. Evelyn, there's your man. How old are you, Jack? You know, Groucho, every year I get a year younger. I don't consider uh, calendar years. I say that your age is the sum total of your physical condition, the condition of your mind, and how you feel. In what way do you get younger? Are you ready for your second childhood? Well, nothing like that, but, you know, each year on my birthday, I try to do something that no one has ever done before. I try to do something. That's some... not easy. Well, you're right. I try to do something no one has ever done before. I see. What did you do on your last birthday, uh, Jack? Well, last birthday was September 26th. I broke a record. I paddled from the Farallon Islands to San Francisco on a surfboard in nine and a half hours in rough water. Well, that was cool. nonstop. <laughs> Honey, I, I, I thought you'd never get here, huh? Fifty dollars for you and fifty dollars for the dinner, right? Wouldn't you rather give the man seventy and the girl thirty? Yeah. No. No. Well, goodbye, dear. Make a wonderful mother, wouldn't she? Yeah? <laughs> Why do you insist on such curious and strenuous demonstrations? What are you trying to prove? Why don't you just settle for a birthday cake and some cheap neckties like the rest of us? Well, Groucho, health is my business. Health is your business? Yes. Well, uh, I take about 100 alfalfa tablets a day. You know, alfalfa is one of the richest sources of vitamins. Eat, isn't it? Then I take about 50 desiccated liver tablets a day, and I take bone plex and vitamin, extra vitamin C. You've never thought of just killing yourself, huh? <laughs> Where do you get these pills? Where do I get them? Yeah. I manufacture them under my own name. Oh. <coughs> yeah, but let me tell you something about these, you know? Uh, like, first thing, the vitamin B. You know what vitamin B has to do with your energy and your vitality? It helps you to make decisions more, and, and it calms your nerves down. I and made a decision already. I'm not going to take any of your pills. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you tell the people about this message of yours? Do you stand on a soapbox in the public square? No, not exactly, Groucho. I have a daily TV show that I show the... Uh, housewife, how to do corrective exercise, and I give her facts about scientific nutrition. Well, when is it on? I'd like to see it sometime. It's 9.30 to 10 in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And what I do, I get in the home and help the average housewife to be more glamorous and more beautiful. And where's her husband nutrition. while this is going on? <laughs> you go from house to house? Well, <laughs> yeah. 
That's my idea. Now, my uh, job is to get in the woman's home, you know, via uh, television. That's my idea, too, but I don't see anything. <laughs> now, would you mind staying healthy for a few minutes while I talk to your partner here? <laughs> what kind of an occupation do you have, uh, Evelyn? Are you a specialist of some kind? I'm working toward becoming a character actress and a comedian. You're working towards becoming a comedian? Yes, well, so have I, but this has been going on for years. Yes. What sort of work have you done in the past? Well, I... I mean, like last night. <laughs> well, I uh, do typing and uh, modeling and uh, personal Simultaneously? counseling. Oh, yes, and uh, I, uh, in the mornings and things, I go to my lessons in the afternoon. I, I personal counsel, type manuscripts, do these other things, maintain to pay the rent and to pay these people. You say you were a personal counselor. Where did you get your training for uh, this job? Well, I took um, philosophy in college, and I also read The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Mm. Have you ever seen Norman Vincent Peale? No, I haven't. I missed well, one. Well, it's very interesting. You should see it sometime. <laughs> see him? I read his book. I just couldn't resist it, that's all. <laughs> all right, well, let's play You Bet Your Life. Huh? Uh, this is Mr. Fenneman. This is uh, I do. Luella, and this is Jack. Not Luella, Luella. Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn. Yeah. Evelyn, huh? Evelyn. You're going to identify some objects. These are all objects everybody has seen many times. Look at them and tell me what they are. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. If you miss two in a row, you're out. Now, George, come over and hold up the first one. Can you handle that? Yeah, now, so. What would you call this? If you don't know, guess. Symbolism. It's a symbol, sir. No, it's a, it's a glockenspiel. <laughs> All right, now what is this called? Sexton. Yes. Now, surveyors would use this. What is it? Um, you have two right now. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yes, you'll keep quiet. He can think. Otherwise, he's liable to make you take some of those pills. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Well, I guess nobody knows but me. It's a transit. T-R-A-N-S-I-T. You now have one wrong. Those are very slow. That's not the rapid transit. That's the real slow ones. <laughs> now, uh, what is this? Bring it out, George. Oh, I just... Uh... Show it to the customer. A Bacchus. A Bacchus, yes. Bacchus. That's why I'm smoking a Bacchus. Now, uh... <laughs> This is often called a sweet potato. No, not this. This. Yeah. Bring it up. What is it? Uh, Ocarino. Ocarino. You now have two right. You know that song? Dance to the music of the Ocarina. That's by Irving Berlin, who's probably the greatest songwriter ever lived. Coffee grinder. What is this? Coffee grinder. Well, a coffee mill, but we'll give it coffee. to you. You Just don't have that the mills of the gods grind slowly, but they grind exceeding fine. Amen. You have three right. All time. Did you know that? What are you doing, George? You're leaping back and forth here with all kinds of curious things. Do you like this? You having fun out of this? Well, I'll get healthy. Uh, Fishing creel. Oh. Fishing creel is right. And at this point, you have four right, and you four win right, yourself $1,000. Right. You won $1,000. Yeah. 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 You know, now you've won a thousand dollars. Now you can keep it and quit, or else you can come back later and try to double your money. You may even get a crack at five or even ten thousand dollars. So you go over there and sit down and think about it. And thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Groucho. It's been Thank a pleasure. You. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now, if you decide to try for the big money and you fail, you wind up with a total of five hundred. Now, what are you going to do? Go for the money. You going go for broke? You too? You know, you get to pick two numbers. Go ahead, pick the first number for $10,000, and I'll explain as we go along. Three. Now, uh, you, you pick a number for $5,000. Yes, eight. Eight. Turn the wheel. Too bad. Pretty close. Now, this question is worth $2,000. Are you ready? One of the biggest sports stories of early 59 was the victory over Australia by the United States Davis Cup team. A young citizen of Peru 
playing for the United States, was largely responsible for this victory. For $2,000, what was his name? <laughs> The only thing that registers to me is something like Murillo or... No, I'm sorry. His name is Alex Olmeda. Sorry, mister, but you wind up with $500. That isn't too bad. Congratulations, Thank and thanks God. for being with us. Well, there you have it. What'd you think? Wasn't it great? I mean, Jack was so conservative and just, you know, kind of soft-spoken. I'm Jack Lane. I do that the nutrition. This is why I take all these liver pills a day. Of course, we all did back then, and Groucho went along with it and, and had fun with it. But um, he, he was quite a guy, and my hat's off to Jack Lane. He started the bodybuilding era and the fitness thing and the whole deal, and I was really happy to find this footage and share it with you viewers. So I'll have more coming up. Thank you for watching Rick's Corner. I really appreciate your, your viewing what I have and giving me the confidence to do it and giving me the support as fans. I love you guys so much. You've done so much of your nice comments and your emails. I just treasure everything you send me. I wish I could go around the world and shake all your hands. I really, really, really mean that. You guys are wonderful people. Thanks again for watching Rick's Corner, and I'll see you next time. New guests. Drayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.